Hello and welcome, I'm Nafo42 and in this episode I'm just going to be talking a quick video about how to fix uh, a common issue with the Prusa. Okay, so I had an issue with the Prusa i3 where this was not going down, the filament was not going into the printer, it was just clicking, it was going da -da 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 -da, like that, and that was not good. It wasn't extruding anything, it came out partway for a print and caused a print to go like this which is really not good um, especially because this was like five hours in this used a whole wheel of filament it it ran my filament out and now it's uh, messed that print up as well so that's uh, one for the bin but yeah in order to fix that I had to take a few things apart now I don't know if you've seen these uh, I don't know if you've had to take the head apart before but if I just go down here, I go into settings, I go down to move axis, I'll move this up a little bit. Let's go to Z. I'll move it up. And as you can see, it's going up. We'll stop. Okay. Okay, that's quite nice and central. Um, yeah, so if we look into here, you can see that the filament goes down, it passes between the two things. Uh, when I opened this little block here, the filament was there, it wasn't pushing down. It was going through the tube still, but it was not pushing down. So what I had to do was I put the temperature up a little bit. <laughs> when I say a little bit, I mean quite a lot. I put it up to like 240, 250. Uh, and then tried to force the filament down. The filament for me... Oh god, turned on the freaking ace uh, air thing. The filament for me then still wasn't going down, it wasn't pushing in, it was just stuck. Um, and what seems to happen, what a lot of people seem to think is actually happening here, is if we look over here at the actual little thing here, that is where the filament goes in, there's the heat sink, and then at the bottom you have the little nozzle. In this heat sink here, there's a tube, and that tube has the ability to go up and down. Now, if the if the tube goes up a little bit, it creates a little gap at the bottom of that tube, and that that gap there, if that gap is uh, left there, it can fill up. Now, if that gap fills up, it makes it harder for things to pass through it. You can get um, slow filament burn, uh, slow, or slower under extrusion kind of thing, and all that kind of stuff. Or in my case, it can just stop altogether and not print correctly. So what I did was I took this head apart and you can do that by unscrewing this one this one you can take that off and also the bit for here I actually did snap that so I have to reprint that at some point um, but it is actually holding with just half of it there so that will do for now I think but I will probably print a new one of those undo these two here and also the other two if you want to be thorough you can just unscrew that whole fan and take it off move that fan to that side there's two bolts at the top here unscrew them to and then you should be able to pull this block off and with that block off you can get a direct access to the printer extruder uh, and with that extruder it will have the fins and it will have the bit at the top now if you can wiggle it around you could probably pull it out a little bit lift it at a bit of an angle and then pull it down <laughs> you gotta be really careful because you do not want to break the wires on the heat block at the bottom they are very important wires um, I did order this without having to undo any cable ties or anything like that, so I think if you're if you're very careful, you could do this with just undo with just undoing that part. Twist it, put, lift it that way, pull it down, and the tube will come out of the top bit there. Make sure it's all snipped uh, so that you can, you know, uh, refeed it or whatever, and so it don't get caught up here and pull out of filament through. Uh, and then you want to push the little plastic bit down and pull the tube up and that tube will just slide back out of that of the uh, extruder um, once that's done the little clip at the bottom that you got should be liftable and there should be a blue pin underneath it now I did not know this before but if the blue pins not there then eventually it might come loose and that does seem to be what has happened for me so what you can do is if you heat it up to about 140, 150, you can push a bit of filament in there and pull it back out real quick. And what that will do is make sure that there's no junk left inside the 
the uh, the actual nozzle. Um, you can push it through just to make sure everything feeds through correctly still, and then just give it a nice sharp pull up. Make sure that everything comes out of it, and then you can just put the tube back in, raise that little notch up, and then push the blue clip in to keep the notch held up. And once you've done that, you are pretty much good to go. So you can put it back in, screw everything back together, uh, and then feed this through. Uh, or I'd recommend feeding it through before putting it back together, just to make sure it does work. And then pulling that out, and then putting it back together, and trying again. Um, and that is what I did, and it seems to have worked. So, yeah, that is something that I've been working on today. That is a little annoying thing that I... Uh, shouldn't have had to do but I did have to do because yeah sometimes that kind of thing happens with printers um, they're still still new technology even though this one's very refined the Prusa i3 mark 3 it's a very good printer but I mean obviously nothing is perfect especially in 3D printing um, so yeah that is it for this episode um, just a quick help guide I guess don't forget to subscribe let me think for on Twitter that's Anakin for 2 and thanks for watching